Hi, my friend. It is May 1st, and May 1st is just jam full of fun stuff today. I'm Pat Sloan. This is my daily video. So on May 1st, we have May Day. If you celebrate, I need to buy a flower today, some sort of flower. Maybe I'll just buy like a geranium. I'm going to the grocery store. I could just buy one geranium plant, right, and put it outside. <laughs> So it's May Day. It is also Kentucky Derby Day. So if you are looking at your, where is it? Look at your calendar for today. You'll see that I put a lot of fun little things that I found that celebrate each day. And we've got the Kentucky Derby. And it's also Charity Quilt Day. So first, let's do the Kentucky Derby because... I have got a block that I did for the Splendid Sampler, and it's a free little six inch applique block, super cute. You could make it into a coaster, and there it is, the Derby hat. So you could do this as a little mug rug or as a coaster. You could do it as the center of any kind of block that has a six inch center. I know one of our friends was asking on the chat the other morning if I had any embroidery blocks for the center. Well, the Splendid Sampler has tons of embroidery blocks, uh, Splendid Sampler 1 and 2, so you could use any of those embroidery blocks for, as 6-inch centers for things. So you can download that. I know, I'm going to, May, I'm going to put this up on the wall and talk through it. <laughs> That's the Splendid Sampler in my sort of taffy colors. All right, our charity quilt along is up on the wall. I've got the first three weeks, and we are on week four. And week four is called Good Fortune. Now, isn't that the best way to start May? Start May with Good Fortune. So I really think you should, need to, you should do one block. The charity quilt along is to support Make-A-Wish. Uh, and it is the Make-A-Wish branch that is the Austin, Texas area where the Fat Quarter Shop is located. So Kimberly, Kimberly and Kevin Jolly are very involved with the Make-A-Wish in, in that area. Uh, they partner with Moda Fabrics uh, and then a bunch of us sew and contribute to the uh, Make-A-Wish that they're collecting for. And often they get to do four wishes uh, after the end of this sew along, which is amazing. You guys rock, you are so good at the charity. So here are my blocks, hold on. My blocks for week four, and I love the center. Look, 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 look at the center. Isn't that cute? These are my Morrison Park fabrics. So let me just, show you the blocks. So I am using the reds, the greens, the yellows, and the pinks from my line. So the, each row will have all of those. There we go. I like, look at that, it's like flip. This is red in the middle and red on the outside. Here's pink in the middle, pink on the outside. So they're just opposites. That is, I just love doing that. It is so fun. So fun to play with fabric. So and Morrison Park just looks really different when you get it down to just certain pieces in the line. Now pretty soon I actually have to get my quilt rows all sewn up, even though I'll be showing you the rows as a digital photo. I have to sew these up so that they can go to Cindy and Dennis and they will quilt it for charity. And then I have to get it back and bind it and then it will go to the Fat Quarter Shop so they can do photography and get it ready to put up for auction. So mine always has to be done a little bit sooner, but these, uh, these will get sewn up today on May 1st. May, May, May Day. All right, what else do I have? I did the center of my Jolly Bar 3. Okay, so I've got the center part done. Let's see if I can get back, I'll hold it up. There we go. I'll put it up on the wall on Monday then again so you can see it. So now I have to get ready for the borders. I'm thinking this might go to my one niece who is getting married in May. It won't make it there for the wedding, but that's okay. I might just, once it's done, send that off to them. Uh, that's my thought anyways on that. So let's talk about May intentions. But first, let me do, first, 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 let me do the wrap up for, um, what was last month, by the way? <laughs> my brain just went like, what was April? April comes before May. So I have these really cute, folders I'm keeping my stuff in and I have in this one all my past calendars so that I can take a look at them since I started and for April my big goal was to cross stitch every day and I did that some days it was not much 
I barely did anything on a couple of the days, but a lot of the days I really rocked it. I did so well. And I think I'm going to continue on with that same thing in May. So I will be doing an excess on, uh, you know, writing in there, cross stitch on each of the days that I cross stitch. And that's really motivating for me because I do look at the calendar quite a bit. Uh, also, I added the Bloomtopia for a finish in May. So I had three finishes, which was a lot less, but that was, it was, this was ambitious. So what am I going to do for, uh, for May. First, if you did not download your calendar yesterday, I put the calendar out uh, and this is where I'm going to put my XS, my cross stitch that I do. Uh, and I have the second page on there is the actual uh, project. So sew alongs and, put to, and coming up ones where I have rough dates and a little bit of an idea of what they are, but not too much of an idea yet because we're waiting on things. So that's a two part calendar this time. And tell me if you like this part of it. Uh, one lady wrote on my comments in Facebook, she goes, I don't want to be that structured. <laughs> but you can still download the calendar. That's not structured. It just lets you see what's happening on those days and what the challenges might be and keeps you sort of in the loop. When you don't have it, you get out of the loop. Now for May, I did this also, you can download from my calendar. Uh, go to I Love to Make Quilts to the calendar page. <clears throat> I'll link below, but this is a worksheet I did years ago. Um, and I live near the firehouse. If you can hear that fire truck went by, <laughs> I live about two blocks from the firehouse and the road right behind my house is a major road. So, okay, so I am going to do let me see, I'm gonna read with you. The Hope Binding and the Typewriter Binding. Those are two things I want to get done in May. And then the little pillow that I showed, I wanna get that finished and made. So they're really in progress, they're not UFOs, but you know, these could be UFOs if I leave them sit too long. They've already come back, but I haven't gotten to binding them yet. And then two of the things I have are these blocks, which were from the Home Is, I did all of these blue blocks. Uh, when did I do that? In February, I think. So I wanna start cutting the sashing for these and start setting this quilt. Uh, so maybe this one will be the wedding quilt for my niece. Maybe that'll get me, that'll get me right on top of that one. It's a little bit bigger, you know, than the other one, than the Jolly Bar 3 one. So maybe that will be it. Then I want to pull out and do a little bit at least on an older cross stitch. So let me show you what's going on with the cross stitch goals. So I have my one that I'm doing every month. Oops. And here's what I've, I've, I'm all up to date. So I have May and the May is this cute little bird. So that's the cute little bird there. And it's done. Those are the colors that uh, Kimberly did for the, that I'm using. I'm using her colors. So that I have to do plus keep up with my sail away. So I did, I'm doing the chain, the anchor chain. <laughs> Thank you, Susie, who gave me the words anchor chain. That's what it's called. So then I went looking around, like what else do I have? I have the little cross stitch journal. So I looked in there first uh, and then I went to my folders or my, my zippy bags and looked through and the feels like home, feels like home. There's actually a rose here uh, and the fence. So let me show you what I got done on that. And this is a 10 count, which is the bigger hole. So I think I want to finish this up and make it into a pillow. So I've got the fence done. I'm going to work on the house and then the rose goes down here. So I am going to do at least a little bit on this one. I think any of the 10 counts, I have at least one other 10 count cloth. That's the cloth size that I want to just finish those up because I, I, I have graduated from 10 count. So I like the 14 now. So those are my cross stitch goals. And let me just show you one last thing on the crumb blocks, because as I'm doing anything, I am generating more strips and little pieces and crumbs and whatnot. So uh, I have this one that I got finished. And what I did is the, the had these two that were partially done and I ended up with some blue and some reds. So I added the blues and reds. A few of you have said, why am I not mixing all the colors? Well, first of all, that doesn't excite me, 
but second is I'm doing this to as they generate and so I don't really know what I'm going to have as I generate from a quilt they go together you know when I make you know so it doesn't mean like there isn't a leftover from the things that went together prior so that's this one these are from the old school that's from the old school that's like the fall colors and then this other stuff in here is from the kitty fabric which is halloween and then i went in at there's a halloween stuff i don't remember what that's from like some extra bit but then i had like a bunch of this from uh doing the bloomtopia little quilt so and then I went through and I found a bunch of sort of larger scraps so I wanted to cut those down and I ended up with these two being like the enough size but I also ended up with two more generated so these are in progress now and I'm happy with that because what I'm discovering is I already have now this whole other packet of whole of her, uh, tray these are just two and a half inch squares so they're going to go in my two and a half inch square stuff. But I had to cut all this stuff down. It was like loose pieces, small pieces. I already, this is my yardage from Morrison Park. I have a bunch of it. So I needed to cut down all the rest. So now I just have a lot of blue. I mean, I have hardly anything else. One piece of that's a different fabric. So now I have to wait until I'm working on something else and generate more scraps. <laughs> it's an interesting process. Uh, I will do some analysis here and there of it as I go along. But all right, so this is Saturday. You are going to print your calendar. You're going to make some good fortune. Make yourself some good fortune today, even if you just do one block and donate to make a wish. So have a fabulous day, my friends. I love you. Mwah. See you online.